what we do here is go back, 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 back. Hello everybody, this is the Bulldozer and thank you for giving me your time and thank you for watching another one of my videos. I really do appreciate it. If you would, please consider using my code Mr. Bulldozer Gaming. You can see it there on your serial screen, also in the lower left hand corner of your screen. And with that green check mark right there, you can tell I am an epic partner. Here we go folks, I'm going to show you how to unlock the skin in 17 seconds. But make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video, see how I got my fifth Victor Royale. Here is the Jones... Field pack jump 15. This is the second one you unlock at level 28. And there's an issue with this, folks. There is an issue with this. But I'm going to show you how to complete this in 17 seconds. You heard me correctly. You watch the time on underneath the map. From the time I hit the, uh, the butterfly first comes up to the time the uh, anomaly comes up for me to select it. 17 seconds to complete this. I'm going to show you what everybody else is not showing you to help you complete this challenge. Let's get into it. Here is the Jump 23 outfit that we will be unlocking today. This is the glasses. To be honest with you, this is my favorite outfit out of all seven of them. Also, in the description, you also find our last one, which was Jump 15. I'm going to list every one of these in the description to every one of the videos. That way you can simply go from video to video if you need to do these. All, and I might put all these in one long video once they're all unlocked. But again, this is the outfit with the glasses. I think he just looks super, super cool right here. And again, my favorite amongst the three. And right here is our challenge. Investigate the anomaly detected on Shark Island. And you can see... The Jonesy Jump 23 outfit there as your reward. Recommend you doing this in Team Rumble. It just makes everything a whole lot easier for you. Your team is on one side of the map. The other team is on the other side of the map. That way you can get this completed and not have to worry about being shot at. Like you would if you was in solo mode. Again, we are going to go to the right hand side of the shark. If, you got, if you're looking at his nose, you want to glide to the right hand side. Now you've already got materials and everything, which is another reason why you want to do this in Team Rumble. If you do this in Solo or one of the other modes, you're going to have to get materials. And you're going to need materials to complete this challenge. So again, do it in Team Rumble. That way you've already got 450 materials. You're good to go. And you're not going to need nowhere near that many. Again, we're coming into the head of the shark right here. We're going to glide into the right hand side. But this is the fact, this is the thing, folks. There's something you need to do before you take and start this. Now, there's a chest right here. I would go ahead and hit this chest just so you got a weapon of some sort. And I'm just a habit of collecting stuff because I don't play Team Rumble that, that much. We'll go ahead and put a platform down like I am doing. Do not go anywhere near these uh, hologram heads. Stay away from them. Now, when you go to this one here, Watch the butterfly. You guys see where that butterfly goes. Now, while you're watching that butterfly, make sure you take off. Don't wait and watch the whole path. You already are going to know it's going to go in a, in a clockwise or counterclockwise selection. Now, watch here. As we complete this here, right there you go, folks. They said 17 seconds from the time the butterfly came up until the time the anomaly showed up for you to interact with it. Like I said, a lot of people are, I don't understand. I had a hard time. I did this so many times. I did it in solo mode. I did it in um, Team Rumble. And I could not figure out what it was. And I even, to be honest with you, I looked at videos. And people was, was not given an explanation on what was going on. Why did it take so long? And you can watch people's timer, countdown timer for the storm. And you can see there's... You know, two three sometimes four minute gaps from the time they completed it to the time they took and finished off the challenge well not here folks 17 seconds you know exactly what you need to do the key thing is put a platform down before you go to any one of the holograms one hologram you have to jump another hologram you have to uh, crouch another hologram you have to take and um, 
do an emote. Doesn't make a difference what kind of emote. You don't also you don't have to have Jonesy outfit on, but if I'm gonna do a Jonesy outfit or a Jonesy challenge, I might as well have the Jonesy outfit on. Now you can see I'm gonna go ahead and back out of here. Because you can back out and it will not uh, count against you. Just in case some people are not aware of that. Yeah, I'm in, I am on the road to getting 200 solo victory royales. And there we go, folks. There is the challenge. Agent Jones, the Jump 23 outfit. And I, I, in last season, I took and got a victory royale. I finished off my entire locker has solo victory royales now. And this is um, the, the Gladiator Peely, is what I call him, is the uh, fifth victory royale already for this season. So every skin I have unlocked right now, I've got a Victor Al for, including both of the Laura Croft skins. I've got a Victor Al for them too. So then I had the Snake Eyes that was left over from last season. I got a Victor Al for him. I think he was number three. So it was Jonesy, Laura Croft, um, Jonesy, Laura Croft, Snake Eyes. Then I think Laura Croft again, and then Peely. Speaking of Peely, let's go ahead and take a look at this Victor Al. Speaking of the Peely outfits, I, I tell you what, I really love this red and gold outfit, this red and gold cape. Just red and gold is one of those colors that looks absolutely sick. I mean, it would probably be my second favorite color to have on a vehicle. That red, and I had a buddy of mine that had a 50th anniversary red Corvette and it had the gold flakes in it. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous Corvette. And it just, those two colors just, they work so well with each other. What is your favorite Peely outfit? Leave a comment down below and let me know. Also, let me know, leave a comment. If you watch this video and you complete the challenge, come back and leave a comment and let me know what, uh, how long it took you to complete it. Also, if you send me a screenshot showing you completed it, I'll actually tweet that on my Twitter page. I heard this person build and this, this person just one of these people, I do not build folks, I use people's builds against them. And they literally jump right next to me. The other thing is too, what about the gold this season? I used to, you know, you used to be able to carry 10,000 gold. Now you can only carry 5,000. So, one of the places I like to go to is the, um, the Reaper's House. I think that's what his name is, because you can upgrade your weapons there. And, you know, there's no sense of holding on to this gold now if, uh, you know, if they're going to force you to take and um, use it. Because you got challenges like you need 10,000 gold. Well, if you can't pick up gold because you got 5,000 there, it's kind of hard to complete that challenge. So this person does not know where I'm at. And this is one of the things about me, folks. If you watch any of my videos, my Victor Royale videos, you will know that I am not a builder. I, I use people's builds against them. I use the environment against them. And the reason for it is if somebody builds something, you can see the pieces coming into it, and then it glows a real bright orange. And that tells the other players, hey, this person is right around this area. Might not be around the other side of that wall or on those steps, but he's in that area. If you don't build, they have no clue where you're at. This guy does not know where I am. He literally does not know I'm on the other side of the rock as him. But I know he is on the other side. So as he pops out... I go over here and get the easy elimination. And there we go, folks. Quite that easy. My fifth victory out for this season. And did you pick up the... I call it the gladi Gladiator uh, Pilly Outfits. That's what it looks like to me. Kind of goes along with the Coliseum. But they call it something else. I think it starts with a P. But... Uh, to and to me, it's just another Peely outfit, and I, I get every one of these I can. I think I got all of them except for one, maybe two seasons that uh, that came out. So, yeah, Peely is just one of my favorite outfits. Uh, I had Bones last season that I got a Victor Royale with. Actually, I think I got a couple of Victor Royals for him last season where he was half banana and half Bones. And right here is the back plaque. This... Uh, the backpack that I unlocked to do the challenge for Jonesy. I did that the game before I got the victory out. So again, folks, remember, key factors of this video is when you go there, do not approach the um, hologram 
little devices on the ground because as soon as you approach one it's going to activate the butterfly okay and I think it is it is a timed thing and that, that's the only thing I can suggest I mean why you know there's a large gap in some people's videos and I don't know but again you can see how to complete this in 17 seconds thank you for watching thank you for giving me your, your time find this video helpful smash that like button share this video subscribe to the channel and you do subscribe hit the notifications bell this is the bulldozer get your killing on and I'm out of here hope you enjoyed the video you just watched here's some more videos you might be interested in on the left hand side my Fortnite playlist on the right hand side the previous video I uploaded who knows what this could be it could be a dash cam footage it could be something about on YouTube it could be a number of things Thank you for watching. Thank you for giving me your time. This is the Bulldozer. Get your killing on, and I'm out of here.